Before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped out of the lunar module on July the 20th, 1969, Aldrin unstowed a small plastic container of wine and some bread. He had brought them to the moon from Webster Presbyterian Church near Houston, Texas, where he was an elder. In Aldrin's book, Magnificent Desolation, he shares the message that he then radioed to NASA. I would like to request a few moments of silence, he said, and to invite each person listening in, wherever and whomever they may be, to pause for a moment and contemplate the events of the past few hours, and to give thanks in his or her own way. Aldrin then ate and drank the elements of the Last Supper of Jesus Christ. The surreal ceremony is described in an article by Aldrin in a 1970 copy of Guidepost magazine. He said, I poured the wine into the chalice our church had given me. In the one-sixth gravity of the moon, the wine curled slowly and gracefully up the side of the cup. It was interesting to think that the very first liquid ever poured on the moon and the first food eaten there were communion elements. Aldrin also read a section of the Gospel of John. During it all, Neil Armstrong, reportedly a deist, is said to have watched respectfully but without making any comment. The story of the secret communion service only emerged after the mission. Aldrin had originally planned to share the event with the world over the radio. However, at the time, NASA was still reeling from a lawsuit filed by the atheist Madeline Murray O'Hare resulting in the ceremony never being broadcast. After the Apollo 8 crew had read the Genesis creation account in orbit, O'Hare wanted a ban on NASA astronauts practicing religion on Earth, in space, or, quote, around and about the moon while on duty. At Webster Presbyterian Church, the spiritual home of many astronauts, Buzz Aldrin's communion service is still celebrated to this day every July. It is known as Lunar Communion Sunday. On his return trip to Earth on the lunar landing mission, Buzz Aldrin then read and quoted Psalm 8. The church still holds the chalice that Aldrin brought back from the moon. And as for Madeline Murray O'Hare, she disappeared in 1995 along with her son John and granddaughter Robin Murray. After a long hunt, their dismembered and charred bodies were found in a field. Her born-again son, William Murray, believes his mother was pumped up by her own hype and was, quote, even evil, end quote. So the first food and the first drink ever consumed on the moon was that of the elements of the Lord's Supper. And now you know the truth. Do you ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.